Okay, welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for my commentary on Judo matches you can find on the internet. And what do I have for you today? I have a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022 in the uh, women's division uh, under 52 category between Amandine Bouchard uh, versus I uh, from France and I she she may mm. I'm, I know for sure I'm butchering the Japanese and most likely the French name <laughs> okay well anyways that aside let's get into the match okay Okay. So far, just really just getting a uh, grip. Oh, world champion. <laughs> I should probably have looked up the bio of Aishi Shime. Okay. I don't know what they're saying, la laughing about, but yes, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's certainly not my jokes. Okay, well, okay. Nice attack from Amandine, but uh, definitely I had that. Okay. Oh, she's going for the turnover? She looks like she's trying to go for it, but that's not going to happen, though. No. No, no, not to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's just. It's a long, it's a long match, so let's move this along. <laughs> okay. So, what, what's the approach here so far, Ben? I mean, Amandine's gone low a couple times, like extremely low. I I haven't seen much from I. Uh, in terms of an attack, so. Would you wonder? Okay, this is a semifinal, so winner goes to the gold medal round. Uh oh. Sort of the drop there, so I don't know. From I, I had like really zero chance of doing anything though. Okay. Okay. Uh, some nice attacks going on there, but uh, nothing really, nothing really too credible going in. Uh, it still seems like a feeling out process a bit uh, before there's a big commit to it as an attack, but. Uh, Okay. Interesting uh, to attack the the left leg of Amandine by I. Um, that type of hook hooking action, but uh, can work. But it's uh, very leaning for an opponent. So um, that's making it very very difficult to really uh, do much because you're working against. Okay. That's going to be even harder, actually. So, Armandine's attacking with the right leg, trying to go for the uh, Uchigiri, but then uh, I is really bent over. So, you have to imagine, like, your leg has to be super long, or you catch, like, very tiny amount, like, very high up on the leg, and uh, making it very difficult to really throw anybody that way. They're both so bent over. It's... I find it a little frustrating because <laughs> it's 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 timing what a uh, you know 
the execution of throws, but uh, there's a good reason for that, right? Because it's a. If they're both playing into it, then uh, it's like a prisoner's dilemma, you know? Okay. Oh, okay. What you might attempt? Okay. Yeah. I mean, there's been lots of good action, I'll have to say, like in terms of attacks. But it just seems like for each of these attacks, the, the preconditions aren't there to really make these feel that credible. So, like, I'm watching it and it's like, well, okay, yeah, they're doing stuff. But, you know, I, I just, I don't know when, when any of these particular throws will happen it's got sort of the markings of a, a win by shido but they're they're both being active enough so it's that might not be a very viable option yeah like okay nice uh timing by i there to um come in with the taitoshi off of the missed uh uchimata yeah are we into golden score now? I think we're into golden score. I just wish there was a scoreboard that we could always see. Like, why can't we put the scoreboard, like, right in the middle? <laughs> I know, you know, you have sponsors, but come on. Like. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's mostly defensive there. Okay. Let's see if anybody can get anything off. Yeah, we're, we're 30 seconds into golden score. And still, I, that's probably the most credible attack I've seen uh, between both uh, I and Amandine. So, okay, I wonder what the French coaches say. Think. Think, Amandine. Think. <laughs> I, I can't tell. And the Japanese coach uh, doesn't seem to be gesturing very much at all. Okay. So, just reestablishing grips again. Let's see what can Amandine pull off here. Okay. Okay. Nice Uchimata uh, off of the failed uh, foot sweep. Okay, stepped out of bounds. So, penalty to... I I mean, that. that's like as good of a... That's, that's the slightest of advantages right now to Amadine for that. So, But it's something. Right now, there's been a 0-0 zero, zero across the board, so... Okay. I'd like to see part two uh, from I there. Like that, the Uchimata is, is breaking her down. Like you saw, she, she went down. But I don't know really what part two would look like since she's already down on her knees. But something, you know, there's got to be something else in her bag there. Like, okay. Over the back. Amadine's. <sighs> she's so bent over. I, I'm, th I'm thinking she's gonna get penalized for that. No. Okay. Fine. Okay. So, let's see what Amdeen does or I does. Yeah, that same attack, it's, it's had basically zero chance of working. And it's something that I's well prepared for. I don't think going back to that well is really going to do anything. Unless she just needs to sort of stay active. That doesn't seem to be uh, hurting her to throw that out there. But, you know, you're always one bad attack away from getting countered and then losing the match. Especially when you're in golden score, right? Like, 
Just need to score that Wazari, and then it's over. Okay. Okay. So Amandine. Oh, oh. Can she? So, she seems, uh, I seems to be quite willing to engage in the Nawaza, but then, uh, uh, it doesn't seem to progress that far. <laughs> like, it's a little bit of wrenching and then, eh, nothing. And so. By the way, I'm looking at this this France Judo uh, logo they got. That is uh, some nice subtle subtle uh, design there. Like it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the the uh, the French coach is calling for uh, a penalty. Like you can see him. Oh, it's not the French coach. Some just somebody in the. <laughs> I'm in the background that has the, the stripes. But yeah, I do want to see some, some more out of I, though, at this point. What happened here? Blood? Okay. She got a bloody nose. So let's see. Just. Okay, she's back. Must have got something stuck in her nose to stop the bleeding. There it is. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Holy. Uh, a huge uh, eruption uh, from the French crowd. Uh, beating the uh, world champion. I, she, she, me. Okay. Don't. Tell me the pronunciation. Well, congratulations to Amandine. So I guess she go she dances to the finals. That's great. Let's have a look at that. That so uh, after a long fought uh, golden score, let's let's see the the final sequence here. So oh, the over grip, like really over, like almost Koshi Gruma. Uh, she's got a wide stance. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's obviously I is very disappointed. Um, you know uh, what distinguishes this from her other similar attacks before was that a she was getting behind the the leg and getting much deeper. Also, when you wrap the arm around this way, you, I think you can't really know for sure, but you can predict that I is thinking that it's going to go this way like a Koshiguruma so she may be pulling back and on the, on the pullback is where this would really work really well right so and she lands for Wazari but hey it's golden score in the semifinal Psh, who cares that, that's a win is a win so <laughs> so yeah uh, a tough match for I like there was definitely back and forth uh, neither seeming to get a good advantage on the other. And uh, Amadine was able to uh, come back from the bloody nose or whatever to uh, to get the win. So congratulations to her. Uh, those are my thoughts. If you like to share yours or if you have feedback or recommendations for the channel, uh, please let me know in the comments. And until next time, have a great night.